Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. For me, it's the second time today. I recorded an episode and just went to sat down to start editing. There was no voice track. This microphone didn't turn on. <laughs> it's a blue Yeti and the on off button is always random. I have to click and click and click till finally the light comes on and stays on. So apparently I didn't double check it this time. So we have a lost episode in between. We've done a little bit. We did get the first one of these built. Mostly what we had was a brick crisis. We don't have enough bricks to do this. <laughs> you know how many bricks there are in this? There's seven to 8,000 in every one of these. And these guys just weren't keeping up on their own. So I went ahead and put this in first thing last episode and got another Brickworks going. Hired up a bunch of people. They, half of them ended up being living way off around, mostly up in here. So I fired all them. So as far as I know, all of these guys live right in here. Although some are, well, they may have been visiting a church or something like that. That's why they're up in that area. But I just go through here and, and let me zoom out a little bit and just click on them. You can see where they live. And that way there's less chance that they're going to spend an awful lot of time making a long walk to the house over here to work over there each time. Which is kind of the problem we're having with some of these jobs, although these are just you know for a month or two. Um, where are we? We're in March. These did hire, and they are sewing. We're near the end of them. You guys are done? No, you're going to work. But three people for two months seems to be the the ticket that works here. So that's fine. Did a bunch of trading. Uh, sold 5,000 shoes. And it was a huge sale. Up to 20,000 in the treasury. It was like 1,600 gold coming back from that one sale. So <laughs> we're buying more, uh, more leather. You do not sell leather. Okay. So you, there's a bunch of stuff first beer being sold and didn't really have it to sell but I wanted to have our first beer sale so we have officially sold beer now um, anything else important happened last time set up the a kind of a temporary overflow uh, warehouse so these guys if they ever do manage to get up to 15,000 then it'll dump into here but I don't see us doing that but went ahead and did so anyway a little light on workers right now or, or laborers so good our carts are done so I went through a few of the buildings and and eliminated a few positions here and there I left these guys fully no I didn't so oh is that that's a seasonal hiring thing okay so most of the year is four and and for certain months it's two Okay, I guess we'll do that. So we're in that part. We're in March. We are sewing. We are done. March. We're at the end of March. And oh, here. This one is still going. So growth, 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 sewing, sewing. So one and a half fields left over here. This one, how are we doing? I still see people over here. So that's probably one and a half. Yeah, one and a half over here. Not a lot of folks to help out over here. Wow. Didn't really happen this time. Okay. Are you all over here instead? Is that... Well, there's eight. What's happening over in this one? Over here, we've got five and not calling for any more. So we are at the end of our last field. Yeah. Which field is this one right here? And they've already finished and they're walking back home. So they'll be checking out here real soon. Okay, so hopefully we get a few more over into here and kind of get this done. We've stolen some of their workers for this job. This was running at five, so we've stolen two more out of here. And we've got, well, we got three guys over here. And we have a lot of charcoal going on. Started last episode with no charcoal. So I went ahead and boosted this just a little bit to, well, I think it was at 100 and... 20, so I only went to 130. And I guess it just timed out right. It was enough. So from, from zero, charcoal wasn't even listed, to 30,000 again. So we're up and running there. I tried to figure out how to get the charcoal out of this, and I don't think I can. 
unless I well stuck I'm, I'm forcing it to empty but no one's doing the job don't know how to do that I can't tell a cart or a wagon to come get it I can't just click on you and you know click I guess I can hire her again I, I had fired her because we had no charcoal so it didn't make sense we were looking for people but I can't tell her to go to this place and collect her charcoal there's no mechanism that lets me do that hmm so there's unfortunately a waste of charcoal sitting there I can't uh, I, there's no point in destroying it what's you know what does that gain us I can't demolish it because it will say you have to need to finish burning first so it's not storage in the sense it's burning hmm I think that's just a loss I'm just gonna make sure no one else ever goes in there so we will turn these guys off as well so no one gets the uh, the bug to, to, to go in and uh, fill that up the rest of the way all right um Hmm, it's a waste, but I just got to think, I wonder if this would look better for the rest of the series if it was two-thirds full, you know, ready to fire, but not quite, because that's all the lime that we have is just two-thirds. Hmm. How are you guys doing? We're at 58. You have been building, despite. Okay. Maybe now that we have beer, people are doing a lot more drinking. I don't know. You... Now, you came in with 140 and you went down to 100 pretty quickly, but I'm pretty sure it's because of our wealth tax. We're clipping off a good portion of the uh, resources after 100 is... Where am I looking at? It's been a long time since I've dealt with this. Wealth tax, tavern tax, it's over here. So we're taking the top 20 each month off of or over 100. Of course, that's not even touching our doctor is it right here you have still got 3500 in yours so we're chipping away at it a tiny bit at a time how are you doing after all this time you're sitting at 200 so you're bringing in the 20 wealth tax plus enough to keep you going and still keep building a savings so you're doing just fine all right we did throw a few bushes in here or there trying to make this look a little more natural um what else did we do? In between episodes, I had worked through the fencing here and set up a gate, a gate, and a gate, or arch, and left this one because there's no room for an arch. And a couple more wells out here. Um, <clears throat> don't think there was a much, much more. I did tell them to work on a bunch of smaller projects while we're building up bricks. What, how many bricks do we have right now? bricks we are at i just had this sinking feeling i should check to make sure my mic is working it is bricks we're at 2700 what does that mean <clears throat> building you we have enough for this building is what it means and enough to build one of the arches each arch is a thousand bricks so i was going to just put those aside but eh, let's just get them done get them over with once they're in in fact i was kind of waiting for this one yeah we could put in a gravel or, or stone road through here just to see what that looks like. Yeah, I kind of like that. I think we can get away with it too. So let's do that. I need to come up with projects to stall off these other buildings here while we're waiting for more bricks to be made. So let's set this, then I'll turn the game speed up and get them going. So you are over here, pavement, and... It won't let me see it until I click, but we have a pathway. I think it's right about here. Now we hit over here this time. So we'll just go this route. I was going to clip it. I was going to try and stay right there. But yeah, this one sticks out further than the rest. So something like... I think I can go into there. No, it doesn't like that. We'll go just shy of... Places I oh I can't get into there. Okay. See, unfortunately, you can't see the yellow until you click to find out where the yellow is. So we'll go there. I think I can go halfway, just shy of half. Yeah, it's just shy of that. So kind of wish I had seen up there. See, I, I want to go to this point here. Mm 
we'll say that's it. And then you are somewhere like... So go to like get into that guy there. Something like that. Alright, you're set. Move you in so we can see you today. Um, yeah, we'll go there. <clears throat> then, grab another copy of this. And... There. Interesting, it's snagging this thing. And just traveling along that. Can I do that? I'm going to have to really piece this guy together. Seems to want to let me. We'll do that. And then we'll add another little one. I guess here. Okay, we'll go... Don't like that. Too short. Oh. Really? I'm going to have to split this in half. Demolish you. Try that again. Okay. So you're going about like so to there to there as soon as it stops being red. Too short there. Okay. And repeat that one. But you are here. I want to line up with that, don't I? So as soon as it stops saying too short. Alright, something like that. We'll move those in. Let's just see what those look like before we go any further. Then we'll lay out the other half. I think this is one continuous piece, except there's a limit in length, so I guess two pieces. But I don't think there's anything else in my way in here. I just kind of follow that point and this point all the way across. Yeah. So we'll see what that looks like. But a stone road going all the way through makes sense. And then... We're already stoned to the bridge and through this way. I can't do that, unfortunately. And there's no point in going up there. Now, it makes sense to run this whole thing stone, or at least run it to somewhere. Or do I just do in here and not worry about trying to create these arches? That's going to be pretty tough. thought about running this one, though I can't through the arches. So there is that limitation if we do this. It's going to have a dead spot every arch or I throw the arches away. I, ca I kind of like my arches. It helps you to find the road through the trees. But yeah, they're, they will not allow gravel to work. Okay. Um, I guess we could arch or could stone from here through. And then through... Yeah, this whole run here it needs to be done. I guess the arches have to go away. Yeah, it's unfortunate. All right, speed things up, and what else is going on? There's no traders. Mm, I've dealt with you. Zero days remaining. Yeah, you're already done. Um, what else? Sheep. I know one thing that I didn't get to do last time. Boy, a lot of jumping saved. Child was born. Um, we are sitting here waiting for something to do. We have zero of, so let's get rid of three bowls somewhere. And is it you? Yeah, you had all kinds of bowls. So let's trigger you three to to go for it. Current only 12. Ooh, 17. Let's put you in there and you in there. Let's just move things around a little bit. Of course, that's not as easy as moving from here to here. Someone's got to go over here, get a cow, bring them all the way around. Are you doing it already? No, that's a wagon. All around, drop them in here. Someone's got to run over here to go get a cow to come back to here. <laughs> I mean, a lot of cows traveling through town right now. Um, you are having a problem because you're waiting to hire up one more person. There you go. Okay. We... Okay. So, some businesses, some buildings will stay off March and April. Others are done at March. How did you do? Growth growth and growth okay so I could just get rid of these folks but it may not have finished until April 3rd and then that would have eliminated the ability to continue so cannot risk that I'd rather have three people in there doing nothing than lose a whole crop okay so in storage for beer is a thousand for barley is 4300 
Uh, hops, 1800. So only three more rounds until... Boy, a bunch of boats coming in until August when it harvests. Yeah. Three more rounds of beer. Um, four more. That was 18 something and there's two and it's actually, it's, I brought it down to 250. So there's actually eight rounds. Eight more batches. Which keeps these two guys employed without having to take a break by dropping this down. I think we've got a full year's worth of work out of these three. So I think that's a thing. Um, distillery, I also limited you to two 250s and bought a bunch of wheat. We're at 3,300. In fact, there may be some wheat coming in right there. Did I buy from you guys? That's three, four. No, apparently I didn't. Five? Uh, we're buying mead. So apparently we're not buying wheat from them, but I bought wheat last time. So yeah, it was a whole episode that got missed. But a lot of these episodes are just kind of, uh, you know, wash, rinse, and repeat. We quite often don't make a lot of progress. We just maintain what we've already got and just kind of watch the uh, the life of our Austrivians. Um, we did lose a an ox. We lost an ox in here. Yeah, 4 and 18. No, that was the time before. We lost another ox in here. So how are these guys doing? So now we're 5 and 4 and 8 and 6. Okay, so that's that was the end of those. You guys have all been replaced by now, right? So 9 and 10, that's probably the oldest set. Uh, 8 and 7 and, well, 10 and 11. Okay. Do we have anybody at work? Buying food, buying food, going to work. Okay, boy, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. You have to do it all by yourself. Because buying food means they're just starting their breaks. Visiting a church, still buying food. Okay, you are loading up the onions. And turns out we had a bunch of onions left from last year. So you took 2293 onions. Slow down. 700 didn't make it. Oh, wow. Okay. There were 2,000 of these. So 700 didn't make it. It's a strange number. So that tells me you probably could have taken all of it. Um, but yeah, there's 700 that's still waiting. You got them? No. You got them. No. Carrying milk. Interesting. I sit back and just kind of watch what these folks are really doing. You're carrying chicken. And you are... So where are you carrying the milk to? You're carrying to your... Home. No, you live there. Show path. You're carrying to your booth to sell. Okay. And the other one. Well, they, they get away from you quickly. There was one right behind you. You are carrying nothing. It looks like you're carrying something. No, it doesn't. Okay. Where did she go? There. No. But she's carrying buckwheat and taking it to... To the, she's going to get buckwheat for her chickens. Okay. Yeah, kind of neat to just... We could spend a whole episode just seeing what these folks are all up to. Anybody carrying something? No. No. Now, if... Does it always show something in the cart? It must. Okay. If, there's, if they're actually carrying something... Or does an empty cart ever represent something else? Now I can't find a single person carrying anything. Now they're just all walking. <laughs> a lot of activity in here. A lot of kids. Folks sitting on benches. Yeah, it's kind of neat in here. All right, so speed things up. I don't need to deal with traders. We... There must have been an, an announcement I missed. Yeah, we have another building in. All right, so messenger from Dakachi. 
And we've got another house, which should bring in lots of folks, which will bring in more workers to make more charcoal. So, that, you know what, finally got the charcoal going? Me manually telling the wagons to bring firewood over. There's still 3,000 in that one. So if I fill this one and this one again, then the, another rash of these will start to fill up. That's what it turned out to be last time. Um, broken a leg. So supplies conveniently nearby helped them to start uh, picking that job. What did I come over here for? <laughs> oh, Dirkachi. That's what it was. Okay, Dirkachi, you... We only have 10 in the system. We had 30 a moment ago. Right? Come on now. There we go. Charcoal. There you are. 10. 9. Interesting. I wonder if a wagon has grabbed, we'll say, 5,000 to take to here, if it no longer counts while it's transporting. If you can get... A rash of transporting happening simultaneously and suddenly you're bankrupt but at 10,000 I'm not going to sell anything to them so what else we got going on wrong one you okay so you are selling to us leather we do have 2400 I have bought a bunch I just really liked that we were had so many shoes to sell you are over here two ladies and you're always up and running and you're done oh we're into that that problem of not having enough laborers again to automatically go pick things up yeah i could select by wagon but hate to send a wagon all the way up here just to get a couple of uh, loads of shoes from from somebody that could have carried them so but this is a very lucrative business it really is let's think about I know I got Dracachi down there, but if I don't sell something to them, I'm going to be fine still. But I like the idea that it's over here, although do we have enough people to continue to fill all these businesses? Is that a thing? There's four laborers, so everything is full. Yeah, and they're almost full to the max. Um, okay, so I think we can still pull this off. Okay, so let's put another shoemaker in right there where do you go that looks good we have a little chapel right here that I always forget about I have a feeling it's right here somehow and there is a path that runs between the chickens this is the back of this these buildings I mean this could almost turn and do something like this except we're cutting off the pathway but I'm kind of thinking it's in here, and if we can do it without cutting down a tree, that'd be kind of nice, too. So is it there, or is it parallel with the road? I kind of like it parallel with these guys. I think it looks pretty good. And I guess we can keep the walkways kind of even all the way around, front and back. Although, putting the front door... Not buried in a tree might be nice, too. If we went up against you, what's the problem? I don't think there is a problem. They'll just form a new pathway out here. Oh, let's do something like that. There's a little bit of a walkway between. And let's move you up closer and get you going while we're making more bricks. Bricks right now are at 5,100. Speed up? No, let's wait for Takachi. But, yeah, let's go back to Dirkachi. But you are small granary. What's next? Besides these guys. And there's already some bricks being brought over. Pavement's done. Um, I'll let you guys look at that while I'm mumbling to myself up here. You are the next one. Just because it had the least number of trees. That doesn't make sense. So let's make you the next one. Then you're basically done. Let's get the four corners in. I like that idea. Still have trees to go over there. So you're next. And that's 8,100 bricks. I said we have 50. 50. Okay. Um, 40, 30. 
30 because there's going to be 10 in each one of these guys. Yeah. Okay. So that's probably the next one they're working on. All right. That last noise was pavement. More pavements. So these go in really quick once they get to it. Yeah. I guess it makes sense to make a little run right there and a little run right there. Though it does look kind of nice now that the trees are grown, just being dirt. Hmm. Also be nice to kind of push this pathway over over the fence, bury it in bushes, and make them come out through here and make this a real pathway. Yeah, I think we'll put a narrow pathway through here. The minimum amount that it'll let us build, leaving grass along the sides of it, might look pretty good. Whereas this one, for the most part, will make a, uh, you know, a, a patio system. I could go in here very carefully and try to fill in all the little voids, but yeah, it's it's that's a lot of work, not truly necessary. It gets we get the idea. Okay, so bricks were being done. Durkachi may have already left. What you got here? You have five days more. All right, so shoes left a thousand for ourselves. Wheat there's thirty two hundred. Buckwheat, we're in the threes. Charcoal, we're down to five. We're using it pretty quick. Chicken eggs, around 100. Sunflower oil is quite low, but... Yes, it is quite low. So, next season. I don't think there's anywhere to buy sunflower seed. I think I would have found that and done that by now. 1,000 of you. 15 of you. 1,000 of you. And Hiroka... You want to buy. All right, we can do that. Let's do the 2072 that you were asking for. Right there, 2072. And temporary you. Um, let's see. You want to sell to us. We got as far as leather, and that's as, that's as far as I got. Okay. Flour, sallow, dried fish, and potatoes. Where's our potatoes? 3,200. We really should find somebody to sell these to. I would imagine they're going to be going bad soon. But potatoes are now here? Here. Potatoes. And they're here. And there's still half a life there. Okay. How are pigs doing? Pigs are going through the beet roots. Beet roots. We still have 300. Okay, so we're not hurting our town by giving this quantity to the pigs. Yeah. So 300, it isn't selling very quickly in the markets. So I think we've got a good balance there. And there's still another, well, there's 3,000 potatoes left, right? Is that what I said? Potatoes, 32, 33. So plenty of that. Get into... Do I have 1,000 in here? I do we stopped at 500, didn't we? Potatoes. 600. Okay. That's a good number. We're not going to lose too much if the last part of it rots. Okay. Speed things up. Let's move through a few more things. Moving, Working on pavement over here, which is that last little bit. <clears throat> so, with that many workers, it uh, we should fly through it pretty quick once the materials actually start getting added. One person can do the job, and, well, did. Okay, finish. Moving to, and one little dirt patch there got missed. Moving to the Shoemaker's Workshop. Throw that in real quick, get that going. And we're going to block that pathway, which is fine. I wanted to keep that tree. New family settling into our town. Nice. So that fills this one up. And a few more workers are available. Good. Okay, so once all of these get filled, built and filled, then it'll be time to fire the whole town once again and let everyone kind of reposition and figure out where their closest job is. I did get you guys going, well, for you guys last episode and realized as I was editing that one that I didn't build boats. So that's happening and we're about to lose all these boats at the same time. Let's force repair one of them so that it happens. I don't, too bad I can't click here and see which one it was. You, 
you that one. So that's the one I just told him to do, of course. Um, fishing boat. Oh, you're coming back in. thought maybe you're coming in from here. So there's two guys. Because we have so many more boats under just these two guys. Uh, you got you to get done soon. And how are you guys doing? You're probably the ones that have just been worked on. How are these doing? They're in good shape. We're looking at putting another one in over here somewhere, right? All right, where was that? You, right over here. Which I thought looked pretty good, but that again taxes this one. So they're all falling under these two guys to maintain all those boats. Whereas over here, we don't have a lot of places to actually build this. Or was I able to put in one more here if I wanted to? <laughs> Look at all those poplar trees. All right, there's one spot. Otherwise, it was too close to the fence. There's nowhere in here until we get out to near the bridge, and that's actually possible. We could do something like that. Don't really need it. We're definitely selling more fish than we're eating. Uh, shoemaker shop is done, but it's just a nice-looking building, and it's near labor. And that lines up nice and square. <laughs> sure. We'll fire you guys up again while we're making more and more bricks. Okay, so that was the second shoemaker. To, sitting right next to the second tailor. You're there. You're there. Um, yeah, let's just transfer these orders over. So, same amount of supplies... And same amount of work and rules. Two people are going to hire in. Um, running at one speed. Let's run at two speed. And just out of curiosity, how quickly do these hire in? And the leather is here? Yeah, there's 2,000 leather sitting there. Right there. So, not happening super quickly. I guess we're waiting for a couple of laborers to stop laboring take a break, go home, reevaluate their lives, and then grab a job. Unless the labor job that they're going back to pays a whole lot better than this. Yeah, there are those limitations. But once they hire, they tend to hang around. Now, I put a bunch of bushes out here, kind of randomly, and I don't know how well they really look out here in the mud, meaning... Do we do something like that in here or not? Looks kind of odd, though I can see maybe they would work well. Let's grab a bunch of these up here in the, in the grass, grassy areas. I don't know if they work well or look, look right over here. Boy, getting really bouncy. Did it just do a save? Or does it not like building plants right now? We get it. We've got a lot of plants on this map. A lot of trees we put in. And I wonder at what point. Because I remember JC the Beard, his current series in this, which he's I think he's pretty much done with. He I, I watched his first episode long ago, and he said he's going to not put as many plants this time in because it bogged down his old save of the previous series. So much that he had to stop recording it so I'm thinking that there is a point at which there's one too many plants <laughs> that's my guess by his comment that's his I think it was his fifth series season five so he's been doing this for a while uh, so you know check out his channel when this series is over because I will be moving on to other games after this so those of you who still want more Ostrov, that's probably what you're going to need to do. Um, debating, I don't like this fence here. So, what I could do if I can get it, because they're going to walk through the grasses now, I could just do something more like this. Grab you, move you out, and just bring you to, the, to this. Now they can't make this... Oh, there already is one there. Okay. But we can do something like that. That'll still force them. Well, kind of. What's she going to do? 
She wants to go to this corner. Yeah. Oh, the never-ending saga of creating roads. This is looking, this is filling out a little bit more, though. It's just this curve that I don't like. Don't know how to stop that. Other than just throwing a random fence out there into the middle. Can make this one a little bit longer, but... Yeah, they hit, they bounce, they correct, they bounce, they correct, they bounce. Boom, we're going to correct and yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they have issues. They really do. Alright, so two archways are in. Working on Parvinkove. Working on the small granary over here. Just to make this area look a little more legitimate. Good. So you guys have got glaze and we are out of glaze. We'll buy the whole 7,000. Thank you. Yes. Alright, so lime, iron, iron ore, wool, sheepskin, buckwheat, horelka. So we are done there. Potatoes we could sell. So let's go over here and think about this. And that was Barvinkove. That's you, right? Onions are still sitting here. Okay. Let's pull that so it's no longer a line item. And you're no longer... Wait a minute. Are we short? It's like you couldn't find any more. They don't exist anymore. Oh. So in between me loading them up into the trader to go and get them, we managed to eat 700. Plus the amount that I left in town. Huh. That's the episode that I lost, so I can't go back and figure out what I did there, but that feels a little odd. Let's see if we can repeat that mistake with potatoes. <laughs> potatoes come in... August, so July, and we're we're five weeks away from new potatoes. So let's move three thousand of these things. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get rid of three thousand rotten potatoes. Deal, and replace them with good, fresh potatoes, new potatoes. Here in five weeks, and temporary you get everything going again, and we're done. Potash, we're at 25, so we'll never be making enough of that. Okay. Um, I think we're fine there. Now, I mentioned that these folks did such a good job with charcoal because I had brought it all over. You're at zero. You're at one, we'll call it. And you're at nine. Let's move ten into that one. Over here, ten. Okay. So, let's move all of it. Firewood, uh, wagon, all of it, too. That was... this one? Yes, okay. And you can take nine. Yeah. Let's see what's over here. Can't move to this destination. Oh. Because it was 30 over. So I'm thinking that was part of the fix. The bug that hit the uh, the cart sheds. Although that was a wagon. But still, if it wasn't the exact amount, it wouldn't take it. Whereas before, I could I could overload them. Hmm, okay. So, well, now let's grab the whole thing. We can do that now. So you all go to there. Okay, that's correct. Now I need a nine. What do you have? You have plenty. So give me firewood, 9,000. Actually, 93 would work if it's still the same over there. And that's cart, wagon. And we'll see if something's changed at that end. Two. Uh, here. Hmm. Reserved 1,000, so instantly there was a 1,000 too much. So instantly a 1,000 is on its way out to go somewhere else. 600 is going there. Interesting. Okay. Like the game quickly tries to alleviate potential log jams coming up because my 650 shot up to 1250 or something like that. 350? Whatever that was. I brought too much over, but this time it let me. It did. There was 1250 in there. I could should not have been able to put 9300. 
Hmm. Yeah, 650. So that would have been 9350. Um, you are just... You're doing something else. Can't find fuel. You can't find... There it is. Now it's coming in. Okay. So we're slowly making it. Yeah. And as we fill these guys in, we will have even more... There's more trees coming down. Have even more uh, labor available. We started filling in some of these houses out in here just to stall while trying to make enough bricks for the row houses. So bricks right now are 7,200. Okay, that's good. A thousand is going into here, but we've already moved it. So we have 7,200 now of the 81 that we need to put in this one. So you will be going in next, and you have plenty of, of supplies. All right, looking good. Where am I now? 40 some minutes, and hops July. Hops is growing well. This one obviously got done first. You can see the difference. Okay. So that's working. You guys have your fields. We're this time making barley, barley, and buckwheat. So no wheat coming out of here. And over here, wheat, buckwheat, hemp. I actually sold buckwheat last time for the first time. We just have too much in the system. Potato, potato, potato. Oh, boy. That timed out wrong. <laughs> yeah, okay. And I've looked at you, your hemp. Yeah. Over here, it's always buckwheat. Or it's, no, it isn't. Yeah, potato, buckwheat, and sunflower. So it's always buckwheat and sunflower between these three. Kind of wishing I could get one more sunflower out of this. And essentially, I could. I could drop a field right here and make it another round of sunflower. Just repeat this pattern again. Um, I wonder if there's any way to squeeze something else in there. I only needed three, so I stopped. Let's peek at that real quick. So, sunflower is 100, 60, 30. That leaves 0, 40, 70. Plus 15% for plowing. So, it leaves 55 and 85. So it's 55 and 85 left going into buckwheat. So that takes it down to 35. See, this is what I have to go through when I try and figure these out. 35 and minus 60, so 25 plus 15. So 50 and 40, 50, 40. So I have 50, 40 left at this point. And 15 over here, so 40. That isn't enough, that isn't enough, that isn't enough, and there's not enough red. There's no other combination that will fit this. Okay. Minus what happens when you throw sheep into it, too, while it's fallow. So that does add a little bit of a burst, but that just gets you back to your 100s. So, no, nothing else fits this pattern. So, it would have to be just an on-off sunflower... Yeah. Hmm. We could. I mean, we're, we're a little more successful now in getting this crew to do its job. And we are adding more houses in here, which will add to the crew. Huh. Balaklia, you're up here. Let's think about that, because it would be nice to get a little more sunflower. But sunflower screws up any kind of a cycle on any of the other farms, too. Um... Buying from you would be stone. Going to need a thousand for each of those buildings. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six buildings left. There's six thousand plus whatever we're putting into pathing. So we could probably pull off another 2,500 here. We'll bring that in. That's coming into the main trader. Thinking about how much room there is in there. Um, nothing else that you have to sell us that I would want. To sell to you, I won't bother with that. Potatoes are gone. What potatoes that were left, it's August though, uh, were probably moved into the pigs recently. Fish, we're doing really good. Let's move 1,000 fish. Uh, August, September, October. 
Let's move in 1,500 fish. We still have a lot more fish coming in this year. Deal. So fish over here. Dried fish, 1,500. And you, what else? Sunflower oil, we're out of, but we're harvesting sunflowers now. Um, sallow, we're down to 200. Good. So we got rid of a lot of this stuff that was about to go bad. Clothes, we're good. Textile, we're great. Leather, we're good. Metal parts, we're still holding. Uh, click away. Horse tack. Town storage, three. <laughs> um, we should stop making it because we didn't need it anymore. Probably should go and turn that back on. Honey, we're doing great. Okay, call you done. And let's turn this on for another year. Just build up a little more in, into the system. Um, one worker, plenty. Okay. There we go. Um, so what else is happening? Running at two speed. Built arches. So here's the, the arch on this side. And I'll later figure out what I want to do to try to even out the pathing in here. Get a little of a fence that comes off the building in both, maybe all points. Move this out a little bit where it should be. Need to put a bunch of trees in, a bunch of bushes in. Make the rest of it look like this. See what it does to our... Um, to the frame rate of the game looking for fruit the only fruit I've ever seen in here are the ones that you buy we're selling apples here and it's always just apples so there's no dried fruit there's no apricots or cherries yeah I don't get the sense that they're picking any fruits and using them in their own households so these are pretty much just decorative that's the conclusion I'm coming to. If you guys know better, let me know. But I I think that's several times now I've looked and never been able to prove otherwise. All right. So what else is going on here? You guys have started stock stocking this one. Dracachi's back. Charcoal now is 3,000. Okay. So we brought all kinds of stuff over. We are filling it quite quickly. Still 3,000? Charcoal, 1300 Because a bunch of it is moving. It's all reserved. So there's, what, 1300 in a building somewhere. Now we're back to 33 Interesting. Anyway, there's that group there. And this group here just finished. There's 8400 in there. Why is this not counting? There's 2,500 there for charcoal. There's 7,000 of it already claimed by something. I guess all the buildings that need charcoal have just sent off someone to go get their charcoal. And that accounts for pretty much... Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Where are they going with it? All right, you guys, we'll just follow this crowd over here. Where are you guys going? Are you all going to split off in different directions, or are we going to be able to follow you? And yeah, I could hit the blue bar and go and watch, but I'm really curious. So they're all hitting this bridge. There is a follow mode, right? Yeah, let's follow. All right, where are all these guys going? You live right there, and we've still got four. No, we got three. We're splitting off in different directions now. We're down to just one. You went into here. So all the different businesses needed their charcoal, and they all sent out carters to go get it. Interesting. Kind of fun to watch something like that happen. The game is working. Okay, you are out of carts. You have got half your cards. You had all of your cards. All but one. Okay. You guys have cards. They're empty. They're, there's two there. Oh, there's one left over here. So cards are still around. Um, 
What kind of condition? I wasn't... Let's add one. Add one. Okay, let's do that. I didn't know I had any voids left. You're all decent. You're going to go down soon. Uh, we got you. You're going to go down soon. So are you. How are you guys doing? That's not one. Yeah, I've got all the carts there and all the carts here. None of these are being used right now. You're all still there. So all the activities out there on Industrial Island. Interesting. You guys, all four are there and all four are there. And all of these, that one, one's being used. And they're all here. So we have a bunch of extra carts over here and we could use a lot more over here. Okay. So in that case, do you still have cart parts for sale? Uh, metal parts, right there. Let's bring in just 200. I don't want to get too far ahead because it then skews my own ability to see how well we're keeping up. But 200 extra parts, let's put in like two more cart parkings in this area somewhere. We were using up these really hard. Probably because all of these folks are off to go and get stuff to put in. Yeah, have carts there, carts there, carts there. Good central point. I don't think these ladies are going to go grab a cart to go get 50 of something to top off. So that's probably not a thing. Um, this could kick our road out. Trying to get the road. Actually, this is probably the road right here. It probably is. So in that case, is that what goes here? That could be like Cart Island. Hmm. What if we had one here and one here? Okay. You're pretty well lined up already, aren't you? Let's touch you twice that way and call you done. And... You off to this edge. And you staggered into this. That's a little tight in there. That's a little tight. Okay. I think you need to be right about there. How else can this be done? Um. guess I'll do it this way. Carts. So if it's not here, it could be one here and one there. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Oh, I moved the clay. I don't think I mentioned that. I mentioned it last time. Took it out of here and moved it to here. And I think that blends in pretty good. And it may be that they're grabbing clay from here with carts too. So yeah, I think here is a good place. And not having a gap behind it. Actually, the gap can be right up to there. That'll force the road over. Yeah. Right there. So you're there. And another could be there. But I think you're over here still. I think that kind of forces our, our split, our Y to work. Alright. There. It feels like it's off a little bit now. There, there, or back a little. This tightens up this road over here, too. Makes us in a, a formal corner. Okay, we'll do that. So you guys can kick in right after this one. We're building it. We have all the materials. Bricks in the system now, 4,000. So two buildings worth and get another one built. But let's make these the two buildings worth. Yeah, so we can get access to our transportation that much easier. This has the pass-through, which puts a road in right over here. I think it's going to look good. So this tree probably should go away. Which means what? It doesn't really mean grabbing these guys, because they're going to have to do all the other red X's. Have they cleared this map already? Well, we got these. And we've got all of that. Okay, yeah. They're not going to do anything because of all the red X's. So let's put a 
nice bench in here. We have you, you, and you. Let's get something more along the size of this. And flip you around. Uh, it's broken a leg. Alright, so we've got a tree there, there, and there. Let's do... Places occupied. Oh, we have this one over here, too. Okay, I need to not get those other two trees. So, rotate you this way. There we go. Places occupied. Gotcha. All right. Move you to next. Well, actually, the next tree. Yeah, something like that. We'll see who gets the job to do that. In fact, will we see that soon? Waiting for a partner to help get a log, but I don't know which log. Could be one of the red X's. So, buying food and going to work. So, that's not going to work. You're going to be gone before you arrive. Or, it's close. Nope, taking a rest. He missed it. And so, here, well, I'm going to sit here and wait for a partner. Yeah. All right, well, I just, the only thing I need to do is make sure to notice that this is going to build next before the building materials start showing up. So, I can cancel that. But you are this guy. Yeah, you're just a little too buried in trees. We're going to have to get rid of a lot of the trees inside here, too. So I may have to go in and delete all of the red X's in order to make this the first group of red X's. And then try to find all those red X's again and get these guys all reset. You know, these aren't crucial. They're just some trees that I could take down without losing the look of the area. And still get some more firewood out of it. Speaking of firewood, charcoal, I'm not even seeing charcoal. It's not even in the list anymore. But you're about to pop, and that's it. Marifa is visiting. Marifa buys our salt, which we've got 4,800. Um, okay, I'll do that. Let's do the 2,000 that we already have in stock. So, no big deal. Don't have to bring anything extra over there. Um, let's swing over here. Marifa, that's you. Yeah. So, you could also... I wish I could buy sunflower. You want to buy lime dried fish? We've already done it. We're already back to 1400 1500 What happened to the last sale? That was this one. Uh, have married. Row house complete. Apparently, whatever it was, we've done it all. There's nothing hanging around, and we got our metal parts. So that's all done. Okay. Um, row house finished. Let's go peek at that. From this side? Not really. Yeah, the trees have got to go. we got to clean out a, uh, a nice yard around the perimeter of all these so we can see. They want to be able to look out their windows and actually see something. But there is a pass-through right there. Comes out this side right into a tree. <laughs> All right, so trees I gotta go. Um, Marefa, anything else that's important? Uh, we are into October. That's about the end of our fish. So let's keep that. Sunflower oil, we're building up again. We'll let that build. Buckwheat, we're in great shape. We could eliminate 2,000 of that just to not plug up storage too badly. Deal. And another couple have married. Good. Buckwheat. There you are. 2,000. And was broadcloth a thing? Let me slow things down a bit. I'm going to check that out. So broadcloth. That's textile. 20 broadcloth left. 10 left over here. And this one? 400. We could use some more. Whoever sells that next. And it might have been Marifa. Yeah, it was. They did the clothing. So broadcloth. We're not making it as fast as we're converting it into things to sell. So let's pick up... Let's put 2000 in a warehouse. Well, okay, let's put 1272 in a warehouse. And this is buying, right? Offering. Broadcloth. Yes. Good. Okay, we got five days left. Broadcloth, warm clothes, textile, honey, wheat, wheat... 
3,000. And that's it. Let's bring it in. Wheat, you've got 5,000 to sell us. We'll take it. Okay. 19,000 in the treasury. Hemp, we've got 400. Well, we have plenty of textile. We have lots of textile. Okay. So to sell to you, we did these, we did that. Sallow, 500. That's probably a good number for us. We'll leave that alone. That was a cart parking, so I need to go find that. Chicken eggs, horseshoes, uh, buckwheat, flour is fine, and metal parts and flax. Flax? 900. Okay. All right, we're good there. And cart parking, I put those here. So you're done. And let's do two. Let's do two. We'll do another two over here. We'll let them do some cart repairs. Then we'll do another two and another two. Yeah. So all of our stuff came in. And it's still all sitting out here. Is that what I'm getting? 13, 16, 24. And waiting for a new season. So everything did get harvested. Nothing got missed. And we're, we've unhired everyone. Okay, that worked. October, so all the f the farms are done. Bunch of barley sitting in here. Okay. Now the cart parking. Let's grab two of these guys. And I've never gone from this end. If I click this, will it pop over there? Or will it stay there? I don't know. You guys... Oh. Yeah. None of these three have stores. <laughs> Maybe I put that in the wrong order. They should be able to... They can reach this. They can reach that. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really have to stock this thing. I don't. I don't. Let's build a house. Uh, let's rotate you so that I can... Get it to turn green. There we go. So I need a green over here. Is there a spot? There is. So it does not say that it cannot reach a market. Although we're near this market, so that's probably not a good probably not a good indicator anywhere. Yeah. Um, a house. I can do it better this way. Okay. So zoom out. You to here versus you to here. This is definitely closer to this one than that one. So nothing here says that the, the market isn't close enough. Okay. They could buy from there. Which means they don't have to employ more markets. Which means I can get more people. More citizens. Here the next corner. I can run it because we're not going to build one of these middle ones. But I could replace these middle ones with oh I'm I'm at an hour with um row houses that don't have stores in them I think I will do that or at least two of them I'll leave one with a store and things that we need to push a little harder like pork we can put into that one and see if we can't just maybe sell a little bit more of it that way okay Things that tend to be rotting too quickly can be, all be in that one. That gives us eight choices, so that's a good variety of that stuff. Yeah. Okay. So I'll do that after this episode. And that will be fine. I don't think there's anything else that we need to chase down that we were working on this episode. Hops were successful, and all the animals are fine. We're making bricks again. We're at 62, so we're almost enough. This takes 71 to do this one. Uh, warehouse is going in. And what was the point of that warehouse? I put that in last time. No, 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 no. You're just taking down trees. That's right. This warehouse over here, I double staffed it to try to get the bricks into this area closer to the work zone. But this one is just to take down trees, so I'll keep an eye on that one. Otherwise... We're good. I think we're going to call this one done here. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye now.